Hey guys, you're watching my real life vlogs, and this is my last vlog before Vlogmas. <laughs> I was gonna do vlogmas. <laughs> Today is Thanksgiving. Me and Anthony are riding around and getting it. Now, you know, doing the, the quintessential liquor run is kind of what we're doing right now. Um, because I, I don't have no more wine, so we gotta go in, go to Benny's and get some more wine or whatever. But yeah, girl, I decided I was gonna go ahead and do vlogmas. Y'all talked me into it, okay? I read all the comments, okay? Y'all had some good points. But it's gonna be a real quarantined Vlogmas, okay? So if y'all don't mind it, then I don't mind it, honey. Cause y'all know I love Vlogmas. So give me any reason to do Vlogmas and I'm doing it. So if y'all don't mind the fact that I won't have like, you know, parties going on and a lot of folks all involved in all that, then we will see. But like a lot of you guys say, it, it's important to still kind of at least try to get into the holiday spirit and not, not be completely defeated by um, the pandemic. And y'all are right. Cause I probably would be so bored and low-key just down and out if I don't like you know if I'm not involved in the holiday in some way and this will give me a chance to be involved in a way that I am used to so th it'll be good it'll be good so we're gonna do vlogmas it's just gonna be a little different and we are gonna try to post one video every single day so the next video after this one that you guys see will be vlogmas one because we're not gonna do any more my real life vlog videos until next year, pretty much, because I'm gonna be doing Vlogmas all December. So all of my regular videos and stuff will come back at the top of the year. Do I turn here, hun? Is this 94th? Yeah. But yeah, I'm still gonna be posting like my regular stuff, like my favorites and my um, housework videos and stuff like that. I'm still gonna be posting that, but it'll just, you know, it'll just be in the mix of Vlogmas. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I'm in a different car today, you guys. Y'all know, y'all wait, girl, what is going on? So yeah, you can tell by the seat colors of the different car. This is a loaner, a courtesy vehicle. Um, my car is at the dealership and I'm getting some custom um, rim work done. Y'all know I'm ghetto. I wanna get some rims or whatever, so uh, the dealership is doing it. <laughs> Just some custom stuff too. It's not, nothing major. It's nothing major. It's not a stunt or anything. It's just, you know, some little something, something, you know. One of the things that was promised to me uh, during the haggle process when I was buying the car, um, you know, you gotta pretend you don't want it so they can give you all kinds of stuff. So I pretended like I was gonna uh, leave and go to a different um, dealership and then the guy was like, I'll give you anything you want. I'm like, all right, well, how about those wheels? <laughs> so anyway, that's what's happening with that. I should have my car back very, very soon, but this is a nice alternative, you know. Oh, I'm supposed to turn right here. So yeah, my mom is over and we're cooking dinner and all that. She's at home with Ann right now. So riding through Orland Park, as you guys can probably tell from the background. We're going over here to this Benny's. Okay, we up in here. I found my Nike mask. I couldn't find it for a long time. It was in the coat pocket. It was in my pocket. We need to get some gingerbread. We can make some Moscow mules. We need to get some ginger what? Beer. Beer? Yeah. Okay. Look at them, look at them chillers in that Dutch oven. Eee, chillers looking good, that Dutch oven, girl. The banana pudding from Crazy Cool Cre Creation. So we didn't make this. Anthony bought that from a a friend, and then what is this? Hennessy peach cobbler, girl. And me and Ann are probably gonna do this a little bit later. We'll probably do it actually soon. And let me show y'all her little Thanksgiving creations that she made at school. This is so cute. Look at her little handprint. I absolutely love it. Look at her little turkey guy. She took all the feathers off and the eyeball, but you know what? It's still cute, and We love it. She snatched off all the details. Okay, and oh, did I show y'all my popcorn? My Amish country popcorn? I don't know why I got this, but I'm just really excited about it, so yeah. So look at the, look at the grandma and the grandchild. Y'all were playing outside? Yeah. All done playing? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, she heard your voice and she was like, Mommy Shark. Oh, you, you heard Mommy Shark. She's got on her Doc Martens today and her Fashion Nova outfit. And can Mommy get a kiss? Mommy getting a kiss? No. You guys are messing with me, right? And sweet girl. I got to uh, retwist her hair, but we had to twist it in for like a week. And so I just took them down for a little quick twist out. And then we'll probably wash and twist again tomorrow. Mommy, what about a kiss for the mommy? What about a kiss for your mommy? 
Stop chewing on your coat, mommy. Stop it. She be mouthing her coat and stuff. Don't chew on your coat, Ann. Can mommy have a kiss? Mmm. Mwah. Yay. Yay. Come here, let me take off your coat because you got the zipper all messed up. Grandma did this. I already know this is some grandma stuff right here. This is some grandma stuff here. <laughs> you got it off? Did we get it off? Bunny. Mm -hmm. Bunny. 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 Go to the potty. Gotta go to the potty. Uh, four. Uh, what, does it cook for four hours or three? Probably three. A duck cooks for four. So a turkey can't be more than a duck. Go get some Bobby Strong. I thought I'd have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit she took off her Doc Martens. Auntie Mumu got her these for her birthday. So cute, y'all. I need to get me some, like legit. Like I need to get some black ones or maybe even this color, maybe some brown ones. Okay, let me fill up my wine wrap here. With all my new wine. Oh, McDonald had a farm. <laughs> Mom always got to do a taste test on her dressing to make sure it's right. Okay, so Anthony's going to taste it? Okay. Taste my good sleep while you finish. I'm just gonna let it do what it do. Yeah. Try it out. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Throw it in the oven. <laughs> Throw it in the oven. <laughs> Y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> Ann, are you having a peanut butter and jelly? Girl, look at her foot up here on the chair. Get your foot off my chair. Get your dinky foot off my chair. Sit down with this sandwich, hon. Eat your sandwich. Ann doesn't really like soul food, so we gotta give her alternative. She, she's gonna maybe Mike cheese greens and maybe some turkey. Let's see, because she's starting to like the birds. And cornbread for sure she likes. Um, of course, no chitterlings. Okay, so we're gonna start building our little gingerbread turkeys. So cute, y'all. Okay, so it comes with everything you need. Proportioned out. Even the little piping bags with the icing are already ready to go. All you got to do is take off the top. So these are ready to go. We got uh, orange and black. And you can make like, look, this one has on a gold chain. <laughs> this one got on Cuban links. Oh, these are so cute. I wonder if they taste good. Mmm, smells good. Smells good. So basically you just take the cookies apart like this and then you can, I guess, make it stand up. <clears throat> oh, oh wait, this is the part over here. So this is the part that goes behind the, the thing like this and then he sits on top of there like this. Yay, yeah, uh oh. Uh, let me get a plate or something. Look, Ian. Yay. Okay. So, let me see what the instructions okay, no, say. Listen to my iPad. It says. <laughs> Why is the cookie going to the side like that? So, I guess you're supposed to build it up. Build up the icing so you can stick the cookies so it can stand up. Oh my god, I don't know if this is gonna go right. <clears throat> Maybe you should pour the balls in one and then the confetti in the other one. Make it easier. Look, Ann. Check it out, and this doesn't seem like it's gonna be enough icing to make this thing stand up. Mm. 
You see the icing, mommy? See, we have to put the baby this. Wait, Ann, you want to eat it? <laughs> wait. We got to wait, mommy, because we got to make it stand up. I don't understand. Like, why is it to the side like that? Is it supposed to get crunched off? It's supposed to, let me see. Okay, I I bit it off. And then it just stands like that. Let me use this one. Wait, but you have to let it sit so it can get hard, I guess. This is kind of wild a little bit. And then the turkey is supposed to sit in front of it. It doesn't look like that. They didn't give us any instructions, do they? Is it on the side of the box? Bull leg stuff. Where did I get this from anyway? Trader Joe's. I got that from Trader Joe's? I say Trader Joe's, so you probably get it from uh, Mary Ann or something. Choo -choo, choo -choo. The icing is pretty good. But not feeling. This is not the best at all. I don't like this project. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, the little turkeys aren't standing up properly. So, Ann, we're just gonna have to decorate them laying down. Here, you wanna decorate it laying down? Yeah, let's decorate them. Look, Ann. Ann, look. Look. Look, we're gonna put some decorations on it. We're gonna put some eyebrows. Look, Mommy. Oh my goodness. Look, look, Ann. Look, we got some eyebrows, we got some eyes. Look, it's so cool. We're gonna make a little beak. Look, Ann, come back. Look, look what I did. I made a little turkey. You wanna try it? Sit down. You gotta sit down so you can try it. Ready? You need both hands. See, look. We're gonna give him a little a little Cuban link. Look, Ann, look. Ooh! <gasps> Yay, you did it, mommy! You did it! <laughs> and look, we can put, we can put accessories on it. Look, we can put some of these, look. We can put this right here. You want to try it? Put your feet down, mommy. Here. Let's try to put accessories. Ready? Look, mommy. In. Look. Your turn. You do. Yay! You did it. You did it, Ann. Here, put some more. Put some more on there. <laughs> this wasn't the best idea. Well, the manufacturing of it all is not really working. Yeah, it's not standing up or anything, and it doesn't really even. I guess they want you to break it up. They want you to break off this front part. But, geez. Foolishness. Oh, if you break off the feet, it'll stand up then. Look, Ann, you got little balls. You gotta try to put the ball on there.
No, don't make a mess. Yeah. Well, we don't need to eat them. We just need to decorate with them. <laughs> Mommy kiss. <laughs> okay, I finally figured out that that little piece at the bottom of this thing, this little triangle piece, is supposed to get broken off and put on the back to stabilize the thing. So I figured out a way to make them stand up. But I'm over the project. Like, Anne is not interested. She's over there hanging out. Nobody's interested, no one cares, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just serve these as cookies. <laughs> All the food is ready. So it's time to eat, girl. It's just gonna be me and my mom and Ian. And they had to leave really quick to take his grandma a plate. Uh, it's actually her birthday and everything, so um, he, I, you know, I had a card and everything for her, so he went and did that. He'll be right back. We're not doing like a formal sit down dinner thing anyway, so we're just eating as the food gets ready. So me and mom are about to eat now. Ann already ate, she's eating gingerbread cookies, and we're just gonna start our night like that. So, yeah. Man, let that banana pudding stand a chance, DJ. Henny peach cobbler. <laughs> Henny peach cobbler? Anything is possible. Oh. Anything is possible. This, this, oh, she this, puts this morning. Man, yeah, oh, like yeah. the worm cake, huh? He like, I know. No. Nah, he be getting that Beijing oh, all the time. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> I, I did. I told you I found a great man in my hair. But that was before you got here. You was nice, uh, DJ. Oh, thank you. I didn't expect you to get here. Trying that little forehead on the side. That's my little side forehead. That side forehead be hidden different. Sister Law, let me see your, let me see. Show, show them your shirt. Show them your shirt. Okay. <laughs> She's like, mm, y'all see it. This is my published author, sister in law. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all not ready. This is her book she recently published. It's called Interview Lessons in Leadership. All right, see you later, Mom. Why don't you stick around for a little bit more? We'll see you tomorrow. We'll be over tomorrow. Uh oh, I think the iPad died. Uh oh, it's gonna be trouble, trouble. It's gonna be trouble. Trouble, trouble. My Jay will say that. That's the Players Club um, reference. Okay, so. All right, see you back to the evening. See you. I'm gonna read your book and I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna give you a. You got the book? Let me see, Mom. Where is it? My mom just now getting her copy. I've been having my copy. I pre-ordered. You feel me? My mom just getting her copy. <laughs> You're so lame. So read it. That, that first chapter absolutely brought tears to my eyes. I'm just, I'm just letting you know right now. I love it. I gotta get out here before I faint. You see the sweat on my head? I don't. But I believe you. I believe you. Zoom <laughs> in. I like your coat. Alright, let me get out here before I pass see you. Out. Okay. Thanks. See you later. We'll see you tomorrow, Ma. Yeah. So interview. Um, Lessons in Leadership. It is a great read. One of my, uh, I'm kind of biased, but I really, it's a great read. <laughs> one of my, uh, one of my biggest quotes is that the best transformation starts with an interview. So I-N-N-E-R. So it's moments of reflection. And so the book is uh, a great opportunity for people are, that are looking to find their places of impact. And no matter what age you're in or how far up you may be in your job, there's still more for us to learn about ourselves and there's still more places and more people for us to impact. And so the book is a great read. I detail some of the biggest lessons in leadership and life that I've learned from learning to say no, learning how to build a girl group, learning the importance of mental health professionals, so therapy and all of those great things. And then also learning to say thank you to people that have had a huge impact in our lives and the power of saying thank you. And then the book isn't just me telling my stories, but there's also uh, looking deeper into the lessons. And then each chapter, they're pretty short chapters. Each chapter has their own interview questions. Yep, so it's interactive. -N -E -R. And so the reader has the opportunity to take what they've learned and then put it on themselves and reflect and see how it applies in their lives. Um, 
Yeah, I wrote this book while also working on a PhD. So in other words, I'm a boss. <laughs> um, but no, it was a lot of hard work and I'm really proud of the book. Yes. And the book is available on Amazon. And then the book is also available on my website, www.natwillspeak.com. And then you click on book and you can purchase it. And I'll put a link below as well to the Amazon. Yeah. Amazon I have my copy. I have the ebook version available on Amazon as well. Bad. Thank you, Natalie, for sharing a little bit about the book. Yeah, I've had it for a while, you guys. I've been reading it, and I don't want to give away what's on the inside, but I will say chapter one had me in tears a little yeah. bit because it's a lot about Anne's grandmother. I think I told you guys before that um, I actually never met their mom. Yeah. Their, their mom. She had passed away before me and Anthony even started dating. So mm -hmm. reading reading chapter one was a lot about um, what happened when she passed and the mm -hmm. experience that you guys had through that. And um, I was I was literally crying. It's there's so many gems in this yeah, book, you guys. Literally, so many full circle moments that are in this book, and I, there was no way I could keep those full circle moments to myself because I truly believe that if we reflect on ourselves and our experiences, that's the fuel that we need for us to go even further and even harder in different areas of our lives. And those experiences aren't just for us to hold to ourselves but it's for us to learn the lesson and share the lesson with other people. And so yep. it's in here. I talk about how I uh, am working on my PhD, but also how my PhD is my third free degree. So how I did no student loan debt, how I um, took the, the jump or the leap into entrepreneurship. I do professional speaking, colleges and universities, uh, Greek leadership, multicultural student leadership, campus leadership how I even found that as a place of impact. And then also talk about um, taking my leap into entrepreneurship and uh, from quitting corporate to go back to school and get a PhD. Um, I talk about just good stuff overall. Lots Every of good stuff. Book. It's hella relatable it's too. Yeah. Natalie is your everyday, I mean, would you consider, how would you describe yourself? Let me not do it for you. How would you describe yourself in, in terms of how, how relatable you are to like the yeah. average student, the average black person coming out of a, inner city yeah. situation and, and, and achieving greater things. No, I mean, I'm from the south side of Chicago. So I think Roseland to be exact. So I think that if you- Roseland. You look up Roseland, you'll be like, oh yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. She, really, she really from the city. It was the original Inglewood. Yeah. It, so at one point, especially <laughs> the early 90s. Right, right, right. And so uh, just looking at the experiences from also growing up in Roseland and how that shaped me to be able to be relatable, to be humble, um, I like to consider myself to be a little bit, a lot of bit of an introvert, but uh, part of my area of impact requires me to not be as introverted. So me moving beyond my personality to impact people and to mentor other people and to change lives the same way that people have uh, changed mine. So I'm pretty, I'm really, really, really laid back, which is a blessing and a curse. Yeah. But uh, by I mean, all of that to write the book. I mean, we were literally just sitting here talking about like Chicago's gang scene and like, yep you know the drill scene and like what all has happened recently and you know in the last couple of months this is somebody who is in school for their phd just published a book about leadership and we can yeah. literally sit here and talk about like the gang issues in chicago like that is not mm -hmm. that is not a common yeah. theme well-rounded yes like to say. that because that's because i'm a geek i love to read <laughs> and i love to write and when you read a lot when you read good writing you tend to be a really good writer too yeah so that was another thing that helped me write the book from a voice of relatability yep so yeah yep. congratulations thank you for my prayer time they're leaving. <laughs> I don't want them to leave. I hate when people leave. It's the worst. It's the worst. That is a really good clip um, picture. Mm. Who like, is that? This is this almost giving Android quality. Oh. <laughs> like on the pictures. Android don't have good quality. Yes, they do. What phone you look at? <laughs> Did you have something that to Carmel too? <laughs> <laughs> was it good, y'all? It was really good. You it, had some, Anthony? It's I, um, I can't <laughs> Listen, caramel. Look, you, know, you know, we're from Chicago. We say caramel. Oh, this is bitch. Oh, that's good. Stop being so cool for your uh, kids. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy, ho <laughs> Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Come my... on. Oh. Love you. It smells good. Look at y'all. Shot down. Unforgivable. 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 Gucci. Gucci. 